In this video, you will learn how to block ads on your entire network using Pi-hole installed on an Ubuntu server. Pi-hole is a free and open source ad blocker that can be installed on any Linux distribution. Pi-hole is a lightweight solution. It can run with at least 2 GB of disk space and 512 MB of RAM, and it doesn't require much processing power to install it. In fact, it's mainly used on the Raspberry Pi, a tiny computer with limited CPU and RAM, so it shouldn't be an issue on any standard computer. Pi-hole acts as a DNS server for your local network. As the DNS server for your devices, any requests for ad networks are sent through Pi-hole first. It checks this against the thousands of domains in its block list. If the domain is blocked, the ads are blocked, giving you the ad-free experience you're probably looking for. This is handy for devices that can easily use standard ad blocking techniques. You can easily block ads in a web browser using an extension, but it's impossible to do this on a smart TV or gaming console without using a service like Pi-hole to do it for you. Now, let's get into it. Once your hardware is selected and Ubuntu is installed, the first thing to do is to update your system. It's a good practice to follow before installing anything on your system, just to avoid dependency issues and version incompatibility. You can do this easily in a terminal by typing sudo apt update followed by sudo apt dash y upgrade. A reboot is probably a good idea if you have many updates to catch up on. Once your system is ready, the installation can be done with these commands. One method is using this curl command. But since I have trust issues with curling to bash, I'm going to use the second method. The process is almost automatic, but you still need to answer a few questions to adjust your settings. A few seconds later, a wizard will show up with a few questions for you to answer. Pi-hole will require a static IP address. Select continue if you have already configured the server's static IP. Then choose your DNS provider, Google is fine, but you can choose another one if you prefer. Pi-hole relies on third-party lists to block ads. By default, it will use Stephen Black's hosts list. Press enter to continue. Then confirm to enable the web interface and the web server.
You can choose to log the queries answered by your PyHole and set a privacy level dictating which kind of logs are stored. If you're sharing your PyHole instance with other people, beware that logs may leak private information that will be visible to you, so choose your privacy levels accordingly. After answering a couple of questions, the installation wizard will configure everything as requested. Once finished, you should get this final installer screen. Note that it has the default, randomized password for accessing the PyHole's admin interface. It's always a good habit to change the default password, even if it's randomized. To change the password, execute the following command. Now set your chosen password. You can now access the PyHole admin portal on your local network by typing the PyHole's IP address from any web browser. This should bring up the PyHole admin portal. You'll need to use the password you created during the PyHole installation process to sign in here. Once you've signed in, you'll be able to see a full list of features, statistics, and logs for PyHole. The left-hand menu gives you access to the various sections of the admin portal, including the main PyHole log, listed under Query Log, the Blacklist and Whitelist menus, and the main settings area. PyHole uses a selection of online ad lists that are maintained and updated regularly by volunteers and businesses to block many of the most common ad networks. PyHole is a run-and-forget system that doesn't require much in the way of additional configuration, but if you do need to change any settings, you'll need to do it here. Once your server is installed, the next step is to configure your network to use this server. PyHole can't block ads across your network by default. You have to set them up to use it by changing your device DNS settings to use your PyHole's IP address instead. PyHole works like a DNS server, so you need to change the primary DNS server on all of the devices to use the PyHole IP address. This can be done manually on each device, but the easiest way is to change the default DNS server in your DHCP configuration or configure your network router to use PyHole as the DNS server for your entire network. But for this video, I'm going to test by manually changing the DNS settings of my Windows 10. But first let's browse to msn.com. msn.com is known for its notorious ads. Now, Let's change the DNS settings. Open the Start menu and search for View Network Connections. Then, right-click on the connected device and select Properties. Then select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on Properties. Select Use the following DNS server addresses and put the IP of the PyHole server. Then click on OK. Once the DNS is set, go to the web interface and check if it's blocking ads. Visit msn.com and check if the ads are gone. Once your devices are configured, PyHole will work in the background to protect and block ad networks and trackers on some or all of your devices, depending on how your devices are configured. I believe this video will help those who are looking to block ads on their entire network.
Drop me your feedback and comments below. That's all for now. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.